Thank you. Yeah. I know what I want. I want to talk with you today about something and then again tomorrow because I want the experience of the momentum building from one day to the next. Because I can do things like this. I'm really glad she went before me because I'm so dramatic. Well, if you are as much trouble as she is, you've only got one minute. <laughs> <laughs> because what happened just now moved you into a different place. So don't start where you were, start where you are. Otherwise, we're not going to play. Okay, I'm ready. And we're not going to promise about tomorrow either. I didn't expect that, but yeah. that's what I want. Yeah. Did you release co-creating at its best on Britney Spears' birthday <laughs> on purpose? No. Okay. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> I lived in Los Angeles before I really paid attention to this work, and now I've been doing this work a lot, and my life felt I want to live in Los Angeles again. And there's a lot of wobbly bits about it. So I would love your help. Well, don't talk about any of the things that are the wobble because that just holds you out of alignment with what you want longer. So you got to go general about this. Okay. When I lived in LA before, I felt sexy. I lost a lot of weight. I felt really good. I felt happy. I felt natural in who I am. California is a good environment for you. Yeah. You can feel it, so go there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Thank you. Now, we're being very serious with you, and all is really well. So why is just going there right now not the path of least resistance? Because it isn't. It is a path and it's out there in the future, but why is it not the path of least resistance right now? Basically because of how I feel about myself. Not because of the conditions, not because I think I'm, there's conditions, not because I think I'm chubby, not because I think I'm a little bit crazier than I was when I was there, but because Well, when I don't... you're there, your crazy doesn't stand out quite so much. Right. <laughs> 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 you know that's true <laughs> I do <laughs> And here's the most important thing Through whose eyes are you making the In other words Some environments You are more self-conscious than others So you're not ready to go there Because you feel more self-conscious in that whole idea But what we're talking about in all the hours that we're together here Is the value of being conscious of self, you see But you want to give yourself the benefit of the freedom of liking yourself. That's what you're really saying. I want to really like myself before I go to places where everybody doesn't like me. And we say, there's no place that you can go where everybody likes you. There's no place that you can go where everybody's even interested in you. There's no place that you can go where you're going to get a consensus. What you get is a reflection back of how you feel about you everywhere you go. And so if you're getting back a reflection of how you feel about you everywhere you go, then smaller populations are less intense for you. Larger populations are more intense for you. Jerry and Esther used to notice that they really liked being on the ocean or near the ocean because there was all that atmosphere out there that was sort of more free of vibration because people are thinking their thoughts and having their opinions. And so sometimes there are environments where it just feels freer. But what they didn't realize in those first noticings of that, what they were not yet then aware of is is that they were and you are attracting every bit of it it's all about your opinion of their opinion most people really do not have a strong opinion of you but California oh when you watch the television if you let your world be guided by what a handful of people are deciding is okay or not okay and broadcast through the dollars that are spent in the airwaves of television you will get such a distorted point of view of yourself and the thing that is so ironic about that is they are, for the most part, more lost than any other population on the planet in that regard.
because they're trying to guide themselves through the perspective of others trying to fit in with what others think so what you're saying to us and we love hearing it from you because we know for sure there was vibration that you translated these are ideas that you've been translating what came to you is I must find myself first before I get into an environment where nobody knows what the hell they're doing <laughs> Esther swears we never swear it is Esther, it is Esther that swears. Some things that have happened since I've known your work have been crazy in a scary feeling way. Well, because and, uh, coming into your power is always a little exhilarating. In other words, when you first catch glimpses that the entire universe is cued to assist you in things, sometimes that power, that feeling of empowerment is a little heady. In other words, we get that, but get used to it. Get used to things working out for you. Get used to good ideas flowing to you. Get used to good timing and right place at right time. Get used to that. That's what's natural. The other's what's often weird. This is special. I trust you, but I don't need to be scared. Like, I used to be like, oh, I'm crazy. And I liked myself for being crazy because it was fun. It was innocent. But now I have Do you have know what this... the definition of crazy is? Crazy is following one's own guidance when the population at large wants you to follow the conditions that they've laid out for you. We teach crazy. So I can speak about it emotionally. Really negative feeling, um, emotions that I'm talking myself into a hole, I think. And smart enough to know it. Yeah. Guidance. <laughs> but there's nothing you need to warn me about. <laughs> No reason to warn you. You are understanding this. You're on the right path. You know what you're doing. Okay. Nothing's going wrong. You're getting clearer every day. We find you completely healthy in all ways that are important. There isn't anything that you need to do differently. You have a basis of understanding. Just keep applying it. The encouragement that we would give to you is lighten up on yourself and try not to be so introspective through the eyes of others because everybody else has got a distorted point of view of you and not because they don't care, but just because nobody else has the tools. Nobody else knows who you are coming in. Nobody else knows what your vortex now is. Nobody else knows what your path of least resistance is. Only you know, and only you can feel it. You see? So trust yourself. You can, you can. Yeah. And we have many more hours together. And so what we gave you just now was perfect for where you are right now in relationship to your receptive mode. And in all of the hours that follow, we will be keeping you in mind as we are offering emphasis and you will feel it. You will know when we are giving you something specific to add to the piece that you've already got. Okay, good. This is going to be a transformational two days for you great because that's when I get really lost sometimes is when I'm like I apply things that aren't meant for me to me or maybe vice versa and then I just get a little bit lost and so that was helpful how do you know you're found if you're not sometimes lost in other words that's all part of figuring it out so you're never off your path you're never off your path so you're never lost just sometimes you're pointed in the wrong direction on your path but you're never off your path and after a while it gets really clear which is upstream and which is downstream or which is more resistance and which is less resistance so this isn't as hard all of you are going to find this so much easier now that you're understanding about emotions and allowing and path it's close to impossible in fact we are blunt and willing and wanting to say it is impossible to guide yourself effectively by trying to study enough conditions of life that others are presenting to you and making right choices just based upon the conditions that they want you to choose through multiple choice you cannot possibly do it if you take your emotions out of the equation you are lost everyone is but you're not you are the least lost person that we've ever interacted with because you feel your emotions in a very strong way but you second guess those emotions because most everybody around you doesn't know about that and so they want you to be more like them and not be so feeling and not be emotional and not care about how you feel we don't want to sound unkind to anybody but almost 
everybody would rather that you do what they need you to do so that they can feel better than that you do what you do so that you can feel better it's just sort of a function of the way people are because most people are living conditionally and it's a rarefied atmosphere who understands law of attraction and point of attraction It's a rarefied atmosphere who are masters of creation you see and you are among them so just relax and enjoy the unfolding yeah, yeah.